He always turns up one minute before the bus leaves and he says, I'm never late. Such a liar. <laughs> I have never been. <laughs> Good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen. I'd like to welcome two famous West Indies cricketers. To my right, Jason Holder and Shimran Hetmeyer to my left. Um, I've known these two for many, many years. I don't know, maybe five, six years. Lucky enough to work in the West Indies and the CPL with these guys. I'm sure we're going to have a fun playing Never Have I Ever, powered by Geo. First question, never have I ever met Rihanna. How did you meet her, Jace? I met her first in my dream, and then, <laughs> and then obviously I met her in the 2019 World Cup in England. She came and watched one of our games in Durham. So that was probably the first interaction. Eddie? Same. Same actually. thing. It was okay. the 2019 World Cup in England in Durham. And obviously very proud of the Bayesian singing in the Super Bowl, right? Of course. That's you know, it's great to see what she's done. She's obviously been an excellent ambassador for Barbados, and yeah, long may it continue. Awesome. Never have I ever forgotten my own autograph. I think I have. Because like, <laughs> it was because <laughs> it's something from growing up actually. I had so many growing up until now, so it's kinda like sometimes sometimes I actually remember like when especially like when I go to the bank, they they'll be like you have to sign this and then you have to sign this particular way and I'm like I don't sign like this anymore. They're like this is how you sign then so you have to remember this and sign this way now because you can't change it. It's probably <laughs> the most instant that I would ever happen. I have a different autograph for official documents. And then obviously, like, just signing autographs is different. <laughs> uh, now you can win signed merchandise from your favorite players at the Geo VIP box. Never have I ever been afraid of Yuzi Chahal's Instagram stories. He hasn't abused you on Instagram no, or anything? He's just like annoying, that's all. <laughs> He's, he's a lovely guy to me, so I don't have anything bad to say about you. See. He's very, very nasty to me. So. Yeah, he <laughs> exactly. calls me old man and an old I don't know all these words. Sorry, no, Dad, no. take that off, take that off. <laughs> take that off. Never have I ever been dismissed and refused to walk out. I haven't, you have. Hetty, what is the story there? We were in India actually in 20, I think it was 2018 when I was on 93. Uzi was born and I pulled at the top, the top edge and went straight up in the air and it was heartbreaking to actually get out on 93 that night because like it was so close to us winning and then we end up actually tying that game to be honest. So it was. Did you have a slow walk off? Pretty, pretty much, actually. I had no idea. At one point, I had my head down. I had no idea where I was walking. They were going to our dressing room or the other dressing room. Really. And Jace, nothing like that, eh? Nothing, man. I'm, when, I, when I'm out, I'm, I'm going in. Students of the game. A Roddy Estwick no, boy. Not really a student of the game, but I would express my frustration differently in the dressing room. <laughs> Never have I ever had an on-field disagreement between each other. Probably have. Possibly. You know, when he doesn't do what he's doing. Any stories do. now, Conrad? I remember distinctly in the same 2019 World Cup, we had a real bad thing creeping in the team in terms of punctuality. And one day Hetty missed the bus. We were constantly having people late. He was late before, and then he came late that time. And yeah, I remember being really, really upset with Hetty then. But I was as close as possible. He's still my favorite batsman. Mm. Thought you promised me you never. That was a long time ago. <laughs> <laughs> Never have I ever made a joke about Jason's height. No, come on. All right. What am I, you are? Because he's bigger than you, eh? <laughs> <laughs> nah. Never have I ever had a crush on a celebrity. Oh, I don't think you're, you're human if you haven't. <laughs> never. I have never. Yours? Anyone? Yeah, I've, I've had, I've had. I'm um, big remember. Jennifer Lopez, Halle Berry. Two nice ladies. Probably Never have I ever slept straight for 48 hours after landing in India. <laughs> Definitely not. You'd be straight on the golf course. Hetty? <laughs> was here when I got when I got here, it, like, it was a horrific flight actually. So like after I got here, I, I took some sleeping pills and that was it. Basically two days. I just woke up just to see what time it was and then back to bed. I know. That happened with two all these all the support the staff, the medical staff keep everyone, coming to me. Is Hetty here? Is he here? Whatever it is. Stuck everyone in was room. wondering where I was because no one was seeing me. 
Never have I ever had a hidden talent nobody knew about. I think everybody knows all of my talents. <laughs> I don't think I do. Everything that everybody knows about me is... Professional golfer one day? <laughs> well, hopefully. <laughs> <laughs> Nothing. Nice. Not a, like an anaconda hunter or something like that. <laughs> 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 Never have I ever mispracticed to play golf. A few times. <laughs> like into the hundreds? Um, <laughs> no, not into the hundreds. <laughs> but there are a lot of times, especially when I'm at home. And Hetty? No chance. You don't play golf? Nope. Sure. I do not. Never have I ever fanboyed over meeting a West Indian legend. Nah. Nah. I met Viv Richards once when he was still playing in county cricket and that was my idol. So, uh, he's the reason for me loving cricket so much. Thank so you. Viv. Okay. Never have I ever been mistaken for a fellow athlete. So, I think I have someone that called me something else, some, like something I was going through the airport, someone called me something. I can't remember what, what it was, but it wasn't, it wasn't my name. Someone called me something else. I was annoyed though, so it can't be something good. <laughs> <laughs> for me, yeah, I've been mistaken for Carlos on a number of occasions. Oh, wow. I don't know why, because Carlos is definitely not in my category, you know? But, um, <laughs> oh, here we go. Yeah. Jeez. Like, compare me to Dwayne Wade as well. I don't know why yeah. as well. I don't know, maybe Gabriel Union loves me. <laughs> Basketball player? Yeah. Some, maybe a Usain Bolt once or twice, but again, I don't know, we don't compare. Did you play basketball when you were younger? I played basketball when I was at school. I enjoyed it, loved it, but um, I always tell people I was too good at basketball, so it wasn't really a challenge, oh. but I, I wasn't as good at, at cricket, so cricket was more challenging for me. So oh. I, I bet no, no, that, that makes sense. That makes sense. <laughs> and you, did you have another sport that you enjoyed? I enjoyed volleyball a whole lot in school. Volleyball? Actually. Whoa. Never have I ever disobeyed Roddy Estwick. I would like to put this as high as I possibly can. Oh, get it up there. So, and uh, Roddy Estwick is a famous West Indian coach, a legend of the game actually in the West Indies. <laughs> And he was a great cricketer as well, and he's just a great man. But he's coached these two, and he was your teacher at school at one point. Eh? So. Uh, to me, he's one of those guys who likes to play with mind games. So he might not necessarily have a solution, but he's going to play with your mind to just try to get you to think differently. So I would always push back at him and challenge him. So he would say, well, you should bowl the ball full or something like that. I said, no, I'm bowling the ball full. Why do you want me to bowl the ball full? Why do you want to bowl the ball short? Like stuff like that, so yeah, we're always challenged, hot rod and everything. And it wasn't just information on the field, eh? we give you life <laughs> information. <laughs> yeah, but I'll keep that in <laughs> off the camera. <laughs> Can you hit that on camera? He's someone that backs that he comes into meetings and he's like, we, we don't run well, so how many sixes are you going to hit? <laughs> How many sixes are you going to it's hit fact, to make we sure? We do not run well. <laughs> to make sure that we don't need we'll to do run. that much running and stuff like that. Let's calculate. We have so many balls to see how many sixes you could hit. And it or up to this day, I could say it still works. <laughs> it certainly does. That's for sure. Never have I ever been a wingman for a teammate. Ooh. <laughs> definitely in the past, it would have probably helped out a little bit. Oh, definitely. <laughs> We won't um, go too much further on that one. No, I don't, want, I don't no, really no, want to. Let's not elaborate. I'm gonna no, get, let's not elaborate. I'm going to get some people in trouble, but yeah. <laughs> all I would say on camera is that my, my, one of my best buddies, Shane Durrich, oh, thank God for me. <laughs> <laughs> These two absolute legends can help you tell your feelings to the person you like, only at the Geo VIP box. Right, guys, we'll come to an end. Thanks very much for your insight and a bit of fun. Thanks to Gio and uh, thanks to you ladies and gentlemen. Sorry, I didn't know what to say. <laughs>